Alright guys, I just wanted to do a review of my Tactical 22 handgun. Nah, I'm playing. But it is my favorite 22 handgun. It's a high standard double nine convertible. And it is complete with the 22 Winchester Magnum conversion cylinder. Which is very rare. I've never seen one until I traded my other high standard that I bought at the gun show for this. I had never seen a conversion that still had the Winchester Magnum cylinder on it. So, as you can see, it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. The blue is all glossy. I mean, there's hardly any wear and tear on it. The ivory grips on it. It's a double action revolver. Nine rounds. Just beautiful, beautiful, real polished finish. I've never seen one that's this nice. These guns were made between, I think this particular model was made in 1970, but um, it's just a beautiful gun. Like I said, double action. Uh, the double action is really hard to pull. It works, but it, it's pretty stiff. The single action trigger rake is on it, though, is really nice. It has, it's in a western style. You'll see here it has like this extractor. And uh, even though it's fake, per se, it does extract the cylinder. You see that little thing right there? It's spring-loaded. When you, let's see if I can do this one-handed. When you, let's see, come on, baby. All right, looks like I'm going to be able to do this. When you push forward on this thing, and do the, and push the cylinder, the cylinder pops out. Just like that. So there's your nine rounds right there. You blow through them. And then you extract them by pushing that out. And then it extracts the rounds. Then you load it back up. Slowly you give a little flick of the wrist. And you're ready to go again. Again, beautiful gun. While not a competition target gun, very accurate and like I said unlike most other high standards it's totally a steel framed gun which makes it a lot heavier than all the other high standards I've handled also the steel frame conversion models as you can see have a transfer bar like the Ruger's do there's no hammer spur there it's got a transfer bar so that's really nice I love this gun. Like I said, I grew up shooting one of these. My grandma's put thousands and thousands of rounds through it. She still has it. But just a great gun to shoot overall. I mean, you can shoot 22 LR or Winchester Magnum. And these Winchester Magnum bullets really pack a punch. They really do. I've, I've shot lots of rabbits and coyotes and whatnot with these things. And you would be surprised what these things can do. So, anyway, as you can see, I got my antique 22 ammo out just for kicks. I've been using some of it. I figure it's 22 years old. I might as well use it. 22 is 22. But, um, just to show you, you know, that you used to get a lot more for your money back in the old days. Check this out. Inside the box, you have all these targets. Because... You bought the box. See, there's a big one in there. There's a small one, a big one, and then there's several more small ones on each side. Two on, two on this side, and one on the bottom here. And just, I wish things would go back to the way they were. You know, when you actually, you know, got substantial things for your money, and you know, companies cared, and just, I don't know, things. They're just not like they used to. I know there are probably a lot of people that say that, but, you know, that's just a perfect example of how things change. So, and then this is modern 22 Winchester Magnum. I get it from Walmart, $7 a box for a box of 50. I wish it was cheaper, but what are you going to do? So, anyway, I hope you guys like that. It is an awesome gun. So, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.